All women are driving wrong, but it's not our fault. It's because cars weren't designed for us in the first place. Let me explain. Women are considered out of position drivers because we typically sit closer to the steering wheel and sit more upright to see over the dashboard. That is not the standard driving position. And it actually puts women at greater risk for severe injuries in car crashes. The truth is men are more likely to get to car accidents overall, but women, we're 47% more likely to be seriously injured, 71% more likely to be moderately injured, and 17% more likely to die in car crashes. Why? It comes down to differences in height, weight, how seatbelts fit us or don't fit us, and crash dynamics, aka the car crash dummy. The first crash test dummy was from the 1950s and was based on the average man, 1.77 meters tall and 76 kilograms. That is significantly taller and heavier than most women. This dummy also had male muscle mass distribution and spinal structure. Yes, women have different spacing between our vertebra compared to men. People started calling for female crash test dummies back in the 1980s. When did we finally get one? 2011. But wait, it gets better. It wasn't even really female. It was just a scaled down male dummy. Astrid Linder, a traffic safety research director, dropped a truth bomb when she revealed that no crash test actually uses an anatomically correct female dummy, nor was it required. So we literally have zero data on how crashes affect female drivers. And that female dummy they've been using is the size of a 12 year old girl. That's supposed to represent women of all sizes and ages. Here's why this matters. I know it comes as a surprise, but women aren't just smaller men. Our muscle mass is distributed differently. We have a different bone density. These aren't minor details. They are crucial factors in crash injuries. And don't even get me started on car safety for pregnant women. Despite car crashes being the leading cause of fetal death related to maternal trauma, we still have yet to develop seatbelts designed for pregnancy. The good news, Linder is developing the first crash test dummy that actually represents female anatomy and that video drops tomorrow this is the kind of innovation we need for women's health month and beyond follow for more stories like this and make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel for an extra special video for women's health month at the end of may